So I downloaded the latest version of Q Streaming, and I put it at the top of my list like I had the last one. And then what's really cool is I was watching Last Man Standing, and I go in here and I hit Q, and it comes up automatically. Now, you're going to not use your back button very often. The back button, when you use it now, is going to go, are you going to wish to exit Q Streaming, yes or no? You can cancel that if you didn't mean to do that. So the, how do we find everything to the left? How do we find movies? How do we find the guide? Simple. When you're on a show, go ahead and hit the center of the black button, and then you can see the program guide is right there. Click on it, and it comes up for you. And it's all alphabetical. And this has all the, all the channels. Now, if you want to use that black button and use the ring, go over to the left, you'll see that's all channels, and then that's where your favorites are, and here's entertainment. So if I just go to entertainment and go back over, I can start downloading all of my favorites, and the easiest way to do that is when you're highlighted on one of them, just hit the center button and add to favorites. Hit the center button, add to favorites. I know it seems like you're going to have to do that a lot. I think there might be an easier way, but right now this is the way I found, and it works pretty slick. So if I go in here and do this, and then let's say I go down and find a couple more, we'll just add some into our favorites real quick. I want to show you guys a couple really cool new features. Okay, now if I go back over here to favorites, you see how I have all my favorites, and it's alphabetized. But let's say I want to put BBC, which I don't know why I would, but let's say I want to put BBC at the very top. Click on it, and I can go to move. Then it highlights it, and using your wheel on your black button, you could drop it wherever you want to drop it. You could rearrange anything on your favorites that way, which is pretty cool. And then in order to find, you're like, well, where are my... Um, movies. Okay, to find your movies, you hit the center button while you're on a show. Hit the center black button. Use the little wheel to go down one, two. There's all your movies. There's your search feature. Here's where your series are. And if you want to watch multiple views for football games and whatnot, that's where you find that. And then also over here is where the settings are. Um, eventually, they're going to have recording. So you see the DVRs on there. They have a sport guide, top live events, and on TV today. And then if you want to get back to what you were looking at on that channel, just hit the back button again, and that'll clear everything. So again, to find the guide, hit the center black button. And you can see you have your history, too, right here. So it came up on Adult Swim, because that's the first thing that comes up when you upload Q. And when you go in there, and then I went to ABC, Cedar Rapids, ABC, this one, because they were going alphabetical, but that's where you have those listed. And then if you go in here, hitting the center black button again, you could scroll up and down. And since I'm in favorites, I want to go down here to news channels. So that's, again, where you would go and add the different news channels that you want. Um, let's get rid of all these terrible ones. We'll go here to Fox News, even though I don't watch them anymore. We'll go to Newsmax, add that one. And then if I go back to my favorites, if I wanted to add those guys to the top, I would go ahead and move them, holding that black button, move it down, and then you can move it up. That wheel, I call it a wheel, it's the outer ring of that black button. That's going to come in real handy, because pretty much everything that's how you're going to find everything. Now, the other thing is your musical choices, a lot of them are working now. So, and that's nice as well. And then if you hit the back button, again, it goes back to what you previously looked at. So, if I want to go over here and look at kids and family, um, that's where you find all your locals. So you guys can play around with it. It's very, very, very intuitive. And again, everything is either to the left using the wheel or to the bottom using the wheel. Um, 
and you can go back over here and again if you want to just go into entertainment or if you want to go to movie channels you can go in here and watch a movie um, not very many that I'd watch but anyway and if you go into the hitting at the back button like we're all used to doing you accidentally do it that's fine If you want, and there's another thing. You see the little arrow? It looks like it's got a, it's like a half circle with a play button. From what I understand, I believe that means you could start the movie over again. And see, so you can rewind it all the way. Or just go up here and start it over. But that's it for now. I'm playing around with it just like you guys do, and it's, it seems to be working pretty well. I really like it, and it was easy to download, easy to install, and easy to use. Happy streaming, everybody.